Hey you guys, I'm Molly with Design Loves Detail and today we are taking a look at window coverings. Lots of different ideas for you. I get tons of questions on this, so I'm excited to share more. Stay tuned. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We are going to cover tons of different window coverings today from blinds to curtains and curtain rods, little tips and tricks. So stay tuned till the end. We've got a lot for you today and be sure to subscribe too and hit the bell to be notified of when our next videos are live for future content as well. Um, so let's dive in. Here in the dining room, I showed you guys these ones. These are a woven shade from Select Blinds. This color is named Rosemary. And these are nice because they are not as see-through as some. They're a little bit more coverage for you. And then they still add that nice texture to the room and they are cordless, which is great. Um, so you don't have the hazard of cords. And they just kind of push up and pull down, um, which is nice. And they are a medium brown tone, kind of a still an organic look, but they're a little bit darker than some of the the stuff that's more like, um, you know, like this kind of woven, you can see for comparison, it's a little bit of a richer um, tone. And I have been really happy with these and the price point is good. So we use these um, in a lot of different places in the home, this area and then the front living room, we, got, we put these in the boys room and then also um, we've done a couple other woven shades, which I'll show you. And here, this is a back bedroom, so it doesn't need as much privacy as we have in the main areas. So I did a, uh, it just kind of goes to the backyard and it's pretty private back there. So I wasn't super worried about privacy and I wanted a little more light to come through. So I went with this one. It is again from that Woven Woods collection and pretty good price point. It is Golden Poppy is that color name and it, it's the same kind of setup, so where you have cordless and it just, um, you know, pushes up, pulls down, but it does give you a little bit more light coming through with still some privacy, just not as, as much as the um, rosemary one. So talking about curtains, this is of course a slider and I wanted it to dress it up a little bit because as you'll see when it's just plain, it looks a little bit bland and then also that's just a huge amount of, you know, open viewing which this side um, looks out to the pool, so it's a little bit more um, public, I would say, on, on this side. So I definitely wanted something with good coverage. Um, these are a blackout lined curtain that I got from TJ Maxx. Um, definitely uh, one to check out either in store at Home Goods or TJ Maxx or online. I share um, deals that I find on curtains pretty often because they have some great prices. Uh, and usually they're sold in a set of two panels, which is great. So. Um, anyways, these ones have worked out well here and I did my favorite curtain rod. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond and they have this in a million colors and it's very simple, modern, and it's adjustable in the length. I think they have three different lengths you can get and the largest one goes up to about 12 feet, I believe it is. That definitely is good for when you're doing a slider door like this or something that is a huge window. This is a rod pocket, so um, it kind of looks like it's a pleated curtain, a little bit along the lines of custom curtains uh, without the expense. So these have been an inexpensive way to kind of upgrade your window. Here in this room, I did blackout curtains as well. Um, again, with that same rod, but you can see in this case, I did the coordinating rings with it, which I also think gives it an upgraded look, um, kind of just depending on what kind of curtain you get. Um, you can actually use these. Sometimes the curtains, even the ones that have the sewn in rod, like rod pocket is what's called. You can still use those and just do these little clip on rings. They're inexpensive and they do definitely give, I think a more high end look and we usually take the curtain rods all the way to the ceiling just so that it feels more grand and it kind of makes your room feel bigger and your window feel bigger. I usually go um, in terms of the window. You can kind of see where the window ends here to here. I usually go something like nine inches, even sometimes as much as a foot, but six to, six to 12 inches I would say is usually what I go past the window and there's probably designers that do have different rules of thumb, but that's just what I've always done. And I like it because, um, you know, you kind of feel like you have more, more window there and then more of a statement with the curtain fabric as well. Taking a look back at the window coverings we did at our other home, I did a woven roller shade in color desert and I love it. It's so pretty. We had these in the breezeway, in our pantry, a lot of, in the office. We had those in a lot of different spaces in the home and they were really functional and nice. Uh, a little bit of that woven detail 
still some decent, I would say like kind of a medium coverage, still some light comes through them, more of a light filtering type shade. Um, and then we did a roller, or not a roller, a Roman shade in the primary bedroom there. And that color is no longer available, but they do have some similar ones in that collection. So I will uh, link those below. But I love those because they have the option for a blackout uh, liner. You can either do a regular liner, uh, no liner, or a blackout liner. And in a bedroom, I love to have the blackout liner um, so that you can sleep in longer. Even though I don't, it seems like a good idea. There's that. And then we did another woven shade in just the nursery. I, I don't feel too, just like as a random suggestion, I don't feel like you have to do the same shades throughout your whole home. Um, I think that usually in a, an area where you see them in one space, like the open areas, I try to keep those the same so it's not too busy. Uh, for instance, like the living room here, the dining room, they are connected, so I kept them the same. But in other, like a bedroom, I will just kind of tailor the window covering to whatever the, the decor feels like in that space. And so in the um, front nursery room, we did another woven shade, and this is a discontinued color as well, but they do have similar ones. It's the designer woven woods actually. And the color was called Stir Sterculia. It was like a really weird name. But um, anyways, they have some pretty close ones in there that you can check out. And those were really pretty as well if we're bringing in texture. It just kind of gives dimension to the space, I feel like. Uh, in the other places, if you have a lot going on with the windows or you want the, the curtains to be kind of the primary detail, then I usually recommend doing a shade that is more subtle, something that kind of blends more so that your curtains can stand out. You don't really want them fighting with each other. In the bathroom, there was a another style of Roman shade. I also did blackout in there and it's kind of like a white uh, type of fabric. Definitely a little bit different because it's not inside mounted. You can either do the shades where they mount on the insides of the windows, kind of from side to side, or outside and so that it fully covers the window. You do get a little bit of light gap, is what they call it, a little bit of light gap with the inside mount, but it's a more clean look. So I usually do the inside mount, but in the bathroom, um, because we had the space, it worked to do uh, the wider one that was an outside mount. And so part of that's preference, but just kind of things to be aware of when you are ordering. Um, the light gaps that we had in our primary suite, for example, were so minimal that, it, you know, with, since they were blackout shades, there was hardly any light that came in. But it's just that if you're like really a stickler, you can go on the outside mount so that you cover um, the every edge of the window. On the curtains, I guess this is a detail, curtains that I did in our last primary suite, you'll see that it was three window section and I, I had curtain panels for each um, divider in the window. So it was like one on the end, one in the middle, and then in the middle again for the other piece and then on the far end. So it's like the panels were divided um, to kind of cover those spaces in the windows, if that makes sense. The drywall sections were covered by um, the curtain. And those were not custom either. Same rod that I always use and they uh, were just a, a home goods find on the curtain. I think that's everything. Um, if you guys have questions, be sure to leave me a comment. And also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up so I know um, that you like this type of content and we can bring more for you in what you're liking. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when our next video is live.